Hey guys, No Nonsense Know How here again, and today is going to be a quick tour of this 2006 Lance 835 truck camper we just picked up. It's sitting on my 1996 Dodge Ram 2500, and we'll start by doing full interior, show you all the options, then the exterior, try to keep it real fast paced, so here we go. Now this is the 8 foot 6 model, so you can see it ends at the bumper, and I like it that way because there's ones that hang off the back, it's just so much weight for the truck. So to get inside, you're going to open this compartment, pull out your collapsible ladder, and you just hook it right on there. And I love these little aluminum steps there. They work amazing. So, boom, we pop inside. You have a door lock on the outside. You just latch that, and you're all good. If you want to leave it open, of course, you got your screen door, which is separate. Come on in. All right, so we'll start with the dinette. This table slides out like so so you could really we had four people in here the other day and it was fine this also spins around if you want to bring it out even further like that so i'm not sure if that's a standard feature but it does slide in there pretty good and this comes out and then this table pops in right here and this whole all these cushions rearrange into a nice size bed which is even big enough for me to sleep in up here you got plenty of storage for gear but if you got little ones with you, this also turns into a bunk bed. If you grab both these, pop this down, you could put a mattress up there, and boom, some kids could sleep up in there. Actually, when I was a kid in my dad's camper, it's, I, I rolled out of one of these one time. Moving right along, we have our three-way refrigerator. So this runs on propane, DC, AC, uh, and it, it really works great. I, I can't, no complaints there. You got a freezer in there too. It takes a little bit to get cold, but that works good. Below that is the refrigerator unit behind there, and so also a little bit of storage. And beneath that one, you have more storage on each side. This is actually access to your bed. So that's just uh, blocked off right now, but if you take that piece of plywood off, you will have access to your pickup bed in front of the uh, wheel well on both sides to there. This one is a pull-out step for getting up top of here. And as we make our way up to the bed, you also have access to your cab. If you have a sliding rear window, you pop this and then this whole window pops out if you got to get into there. I'll just set that right there for now. Now climbing up into the bed is super easy. It's got a full-size queen mattress. The original owner, he had a 13-inch high mattress in here, which was like crazy high and you didn't have a lot of overhead. But we put a 6-inch memory foam and that feels amazing. Although I will say... I think the memory foam stinks and I'm gonna have to get the spring mattress because these chemicals are kind of bothering me a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I mean, six foot two and I got just a ton of room up here. This is no, no cramped space at all. On the sides of the bed, you have plenty of storage. This one even has a little area for setting drinks and stuff, but that also doubles as a little extension for your kitchen. It slides in right there. You're not supposed to use it as a step though. Uh, and then let's see so you got windows on both sides with curtains plenty of storage ah oh, that's that open that's right here plenty of storage in here too toward the front of the bed area led lights on both sides too same storage on the driver's side with drawers there she brought her little dvd player which was nice more storage here countertop you got your cable hookup a cigarette lighter for putting plugging my phone in this is the uh, antenna like tv antenna not that we're using that then you have your voyager entertainment center oh yeah it's, so you put a cd in there or whatever or dvds i would uh this doesn't take dvds but you know a lot of people put tvs in here we, we don't need that i apologize if we're rushing around this tour but uh this is your all your systems here so to test your battery push that you can see right now it's charging and it's good this is your water pump right now that's on and monitor to check your fresh water black water and gray water it's got a 33 gallon fresh water tank and only an eight gallon black water and eight gallon gray water which are pretty small but i wanted the small camper so uh, your water heater right now we're in a campground so we had this set on the electric element but if you don't have electric it runs great on lp as well more storage next to that you got your microwave which is pretty much full size your hood vent which has a light and a fan on it and three burners with a little mini oven we were using these this morning for cooking breakfast you got your double sink this one's deep this one's a little bit smaller 
There's also a little bit more storage underneath it here for getting to your water pump and some utilities, and then a fuse box beneath that. Back up in the bed area, you also have two speakers up here and a vent, which works very well for when you're sleeping and then an emergency exit. So if you wanna go up on the roof, which I'll show you later in this video, uh, easy access to that. Rooftop AC unit blows nice and ice cold. And then another vent with a fantastic fan on it. If you haven't seen these fanta uh, fantastic fans before, they are amazing. Uh, it works very well. Storage right here, plenty of storage, nice cupboard there. Another drawer, junk drawer. Uh, heater works amazing in this thing. It's got a propane heater, which is tied to the thermostat. So that was really nice. Got cold last night, we kicked that on. And then your bathroom, good mirror on the door. Pop it open, this is a wet bath. So, uh, you know, she just showered in here this morning. And we did have our gray water start to fill up. So you know your gray water's filling up when this, this is the lowest drain of the camper. And when this one stops draining, you know it's time to empty out the gray water tank. Or of course, go check your gauge indicators. But uh, you got your toilet paper and some storage behind the toilet paper too. There's like a little rack in there. And then there is, behind us, good storage there too. Can't beat that. This does not have the fantastic fan in the bathroom, but it does have, uh, a vent where you can actually leave this when you're going down the road too because it has a cover over it i'll show you that up on the roof but when you're showering you just close this and then that prevents water from hitting the door or anything so bathroom is pretty sweet bunch of other speakers throughout and i think that pretty much covers the interior for the most part you got a fire extinguisher too uh yeah let's move on outside on the exterior, you might notice the truck camper looks like it's my, my frame's bent or it's sitting weird. And that's because once we got here, I just loosened up these fast guns, left those loose, and then jacked up the back of the camper to level it out. So all the weight's pretty much sitting on the front of the bed. You might also see my makeshift uh, tie downs. I'm waiting on frame mounts for this. So this is just some heavy duty pipe that's stuffed inside of my, my hitch. And then up here, these step bars are actually really rigid and this is, uh, I mean, obviously it's a lot tighter once I had the fast guns locked down, but to tighten this down, I mean, it's super easy. You pop that pin and then boom, baby's locked down. You lock this back in. So way better than the older uh, turnbuckle style that I've seen. All right, let's do a full walk around of exterior now. This is your refrigerator. God forbid you have to work on that thing. I can hear the burner going right now though. So I know that's fired up. Inside of here, you have two 20 pound tanks with a dual a switch over regulator, which I don't have the other one hooked up right now, but this awning is absolutely massive that it came with. I, I couldn't believe. I mean, this folds all the way down super easy. It's mechanical, which I love. There's no electronics involved with it. And look, she brought these cute little lights at nighttime. Uh, that's real cute. These electronic jacks, I would never go back to the mechanical ones. I had a, a camper like this before for a short period of time with the crank ones and you're running around the whole thing to crank it up. This, I mean, you just hit one button and they all go up at the same time. So that is amazing. You can adjust them uh, separately as well. As I mentioned in here, this is your ladder storage. So the ladder slides in here and then you can fit a little bit more in there too. And beyond that, you have uh, fishing pole storage, like long storage items there too. Uh, right here is the, oh, I'll open that. This is your uh, pump out. So for the gray water valve, black water valve, hook your hose up, you get the rest. Very convenient having the outside shower, hot and cold on that. And then your sewer hose is right next to there. So you pop that out for dumping your turds and whatever else. And then battery box has room for one uh, battery, you know, marine battery and has a battery shut off on here too, which I'm not gonna shut off right now. This is the heater vent for the propane heater, your electric hookup right here. And, and we got that hooked up to the campground. And this is the hot water heater which runs again on electric or propane. Works great both ways. This is the water fill. And your range vent is up here too, which does have a little lock. So I guess to prevent squirrels and whatnot from making their way into there. Of course, on uh, every side of the camper, you have a exterior lighting too. And I don't know if you noticed this already, but this camper did have a repair done. The previous owner backed into something and the fiberglass was pushed through. So they took a plastic plate on here and glued that on. It seems like a pretty sturdy, proper job that they did. Also, I don't know if I remember uh, mentioned, but this is your, like for when you're winterizing it, this is a drain for your fresh water tank right here. Let's go up the roof. 
Coming up that ladder, you have a nice grab handle on the top. Ladder feels super sturdy. And again, this is that bath vent I was telling you about, so you can leave the vent open as you're going down the road. This is still venting on the back, I'm pulling fresh air into the camper. I love that in the bathroom, it has this fiberglass bump out. I forgot to show you that, but it's a little short in there. And so for me, I can stand up and my head is sticking up in there. This rail and the one on the other side is for like putting the cargo racks or other tying other things down like a kayak or whatever. There's your fantastic fan. This is the refrigerator vent. AC unit sticks up high, but it's really nice having AC. And that's your uh, bedroom rooftop vent. Uh, it's really nice too. Like I came up that ladder, but you can just pop this and come right up here too at nighttime and like put a mattress up here and hang out, watch the stars too. A uh, part of what I liked about this camper is it's dirty right now. I haven't cleaned it, but I think it's going to buff out really nice. And the roof doesn't have any soft spots or any signs of leaks that had have, uh, have occurred in the past. This is the TV antenna I was showing you that's up in the bed. I might just get rid of that thing. Don't really think I need it. And I believe these little poppets are probably just some other vents, if I'm not mistaken, maybe for the plumbing. But uh, that is the rooftop. Yeah, I think the biggest key to these truck campers is you have to get up here frequently and make sure to reseal this anytime. You can tell somebody's done a pretty good job resealing this at some point, but you gotta make sure you don't let water sit up here and drain in because by the time you're gonna notice, hey, there's water leaking inside the camper, it's too late. And then these things delaminate, they get rotted walls in them, mold and everything, and then they're not worth anything. So storing it in the garage is probably the best, maybe a carport, but also getting up here and making sure that all your seams are tidy and not leaking is really important. Now this is actually our first time taking this camping and we haven't got it quite dressed up where we'd like it to be, but I gotta tell you, I mean, just look at this. This this is not an extended truck camper. It ends at the back of the bed, of course, an eight foot bed, but you have just so much space. When you're inside of here, it really does not feel like you're sitting in a pickup truck bed at all. It's just a really well put together package. And that will conclude this rapid fire tour. I apologize if I kind of rushed through it or if I missed anything. I gotta just say, there's so many other options. You got uh, motor homes, pull behinds, fifth wheels, toy haulers, uh, the, the van life, but I think the truck camper is just such an awesome package. It really is. I mean, you, you I could pull right out of here in a couple minutes and have a workhorse truck ready to go. You don't get that with a motorhome. I mean, yeah, you can hang out while you're driving and go in there too. That's cool. But if you set this truck camper up right and you're, you know, slim, you could actually slide through into the cab if you have to. So that's something I'll do in the future. But I just wanted to make this video in case uh, I end up selling this thing and not keeping it so I can remember, remember what a great package it was. And hopefully this gives you an idea of what the 2006 Lance Light 835 8 foot 6 inch truck camper is all about. Alright, so drop it a thumbs up if it helped you out. Leave me a comment if you liked it or if I forgot anything in this video. Make sure to plug that in if I had any wrong information or whatever so you other guys can go down and see that in the comments too. And uh, until next time, this is Chris Brown here, KZ Guy 2, no nonsense, no how, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.